Welcome back guys. Unlike the last few projects, this project only took me like a few days, so it's pretty simple. In this video, we will be looking at 16 by 16 chests. So let's get started. So to start off, we have to select a programming language. I'll be using Python, but you can really use anything. In Python, there's a special library known as Pygame. Pygame is a 2D game engine, so it's perfect for creating our chess game. The first thing we have to do is create the code to draw the board. This is so that we can later change the size of the board easily so that we can change it into an 8x8, 16x16, or any size you really want. The first thing I do is get some chess icons of each piece from the web. Then I create a matrix of each piece with the image. After that, I use a set of for loops to iterate through the images so that we can blit it to the screen. Using NumPy, I also made the board into a checkerboard so that it won't just be one color. To get the colors of a good chessboard, I use the color picker tool on Mac to copy the colors used for chess.com. They're pretty good colors, so I just copied them. After that, all we do is just write the code to render the board with all of its images. Pygame has a set of tools for loading up images and rendering, as any game engine would. Now we have a chessboard on the screen. Unfortunately, even though it looks nice, we can't really play chess with it, so now we have to add some piece logic. The first piece I did was the pawn. Pawns are actually the hardest to code because on their first move, they can choose between two spaces or one space. Pawns can also capture pieces diagonally, and they can't capture pieces by just moving straight. So here's the code done for the pawn. As you can see, I also colored in the possible moves in to make it look nicer. So now next is the bishop. The bishop can move only diagonally, so it was pretty easy to code. Here's the completed bishop piece logic. Next is the rook. The rook can only move horizontally and vertically, so it was actually pretty easy to code. So here's the completed rook in action. Next is the queen and king. These were the easiest because I already had the bishop and rook code finished. So I just combined them together and added a one space limiter on the king. Here's the pair in action. The last piece is the knight. The knight can move in a weird L shapes and can jump other pieces, so it's really not too bad. So here's the knight in action. To make this board into a 16 by 16, we have to decide on the number of pieces. In a regular 8x8, there are 2 knights, 8 pawns, 2 bishops, 1 king, 1 queen, and 2 rooks. In a 16x16 16 16 board, things are a bit different. Instead, there are 4 knights, 16 pawns, 4 bishops, 3 queens, and 4 rooks. And with that, all we need to do now is change the cells from 8x8 8 8 to 16x16, 16 16, and BAM! We have a chessboard that's 16x16 16 16 in length and width. Here's me just making a couple of random moves to test out the new board. I said this in the start of the video, but I'll say it again. I will put the source code in the description if you want to try this out for yourself. Anyways, so after this, I might not post for a while, 
the next project seems like it's going to take quite a long time so be on the lookout for that but don't expect me to upload in the next week or two thank you guys for watching please check me out in the next video